So uh, since the outbreak of the epidemic, I want to stress that the universities and the foreign offices, local foreign offices uh, in Wuhan are making every effort to ensure that the students have sufficient access to the medical care and the daily necessities. Mm -hmm. So I want to list them one by one, okay. um, some of our measures. Mm -hmm. First, they distribute free masks free of charge, masks and the personal sterilization equipment to students. Second, students could get free meals, I mean breakfast, lunch, and supper. So one day, three meals, it's free. So third, the university supermarket would deliver supplies of daily use to the dormitory for the students as long as the students place an order online. You mm -hmm. see, they, they don't have to walk out of the dormitory. Mm -hmm. Fourth, the universities, universities keep doing routine inspection and uh, monitoring temperature to every student mm -hmm. every day. I think it is twice a day. So we we'll keep checking the students are well or not. And for fifth, the Chinese government has published 24 hour English speaking hotline mm -hmm. for the foreigners, especially for the students. If mm -hmm. they have any problem or any hard time, they can just call the hotline and the people will respond in the first time. Mm -hmm. And sixth, if any students feels unwell, the authority would respond immediately and arrange the students to get medical treatment you know, in time. So uh, I want to use your platform and to repeat the consular hotline of the Ghanaian Embassy in China, in Beijing. The hotline number are um, 0086, that's the national number, 186-120. 84232 mm -hmm. and 0086-186-129-59040. But, but while well, I see there are a lot of interventions, but we've had consistently concerns and calls from the students asking the Ghanaian government to evacuate them. Mm -hmm. um, is, uh, are you suggesting then that they are, they are okay there than coming to Ghana? I think uh, in Wuhan and in Hubei province now, uh, the situation is totally under control and we are supporting the necessities, and the medical treatment. We have the capacity to provide the food and the medical treatment, as I just said. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the situation now. So I think um, Ghana or other countries, the world community, the international community um, could follow the suggestion by the WHO now, uh, the WHO is uh, not recommending the people to, uh, to have mass evacuation now, yes.